Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues, playing as the Great Vault City. So, I'm going to address some comments right to start off. So, I've been thinking about this. Someone, a few people probably recommend that I play a little bit more as a real Vault City. You know, outside of Battalions, that's not really great with Vault City. They're pretty kind of exclusionary. You know what? I figured... In time, not right now, since I want to use my political power for something else, but in time, I will go with no outsiders. At the current moment, I will keep this modifier for outsider recruitment. In time, I will lower it to no outsiders. I will do that in time, if I remember. Uh, speaking of that, I do want to immediately, eventually get higher conscription levels, because right now we have 4% and some good buffs, but we got to go with war never changes eventually. We'll have to be at war with that. That's okay. And I want to just another comment. I should probably get better robot production. That sounds pretty smart to do. Uh, we can lose more defense for more soft attack and hard attack. Uh, that's not bad. Actually, that's not that's not bad at all. You know what? I might actually do that just because I might eventually try using robots as the garrison divisions. If we can do that. That would be amazing. Uh, what am I thinking of right now? We're, we're trying to justify on Eastport. And it's going to take quite a bit more time. And yes, another comment from yesterday was saying that, you know what, Mr. Mokalever, you should try puppeting some places so that your garrisons, your resistance doesn't get hurt too much. And you know what? I completely agree. That's why we have Eastport here, and I'm going to puppet them when we're done. Uh, and actually, don't, just in case, resistance. Look at that. 24% compliance. 0.7 a day. With outsider battalions, it helps quite a bit as well. And that'll eventually lower. Oh, the guest timekeepers, uh, the resistance or the that they have in the state, which is really good. Right now we have a max capacity or max resistance level of forty uh, percent. But we got rubber refinement, which is good. It's twenty-two seventy-seven, my friends. We need machine guns to get APCs. Let's grab those immediately, and then we'll do some more industrial stuff as well. Right now we're just trying to produce, 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 because we are out a great number of support robots. But we are trying to make our guys 10 combat width. Of course, except for our infantry, which is 10 combat width as well. And yes, I can train my robots. I just choose not to because just because I want to make sure we produce as many robots as possible right now first. Uh, Spy Master, uh, that's, that stuff is okay. It's okay. It's not great. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, less, less defense, yeah. But more soft attack, more hard attack. That's always nice. Besides, what else am I going to do besides the Gecko Company, which is okay? Rough and ready shovelers. Let's go get some steel soldiers first. I really wish we had more of this. Military hard work. Right. Soft attack. Oh, 116 days. Oh, and oh, another comment. Get assault trons. I will get assault trons eventually. I will. More soft attack, more hard attack, less defense. Uh, what about industry? Research speed. Yeah, I'm going to go with industry for right now. Because that's still important to do. Still quite important. Look at our manpower. It's slowly going down, and every time I see it go down, it just hurts me on the inside just a little bit. Just, oh, uh, why wow, is it still going down? Well, part of it's just because we have to put more manpower in our division still. So, restore the council so we get more political power. And we'll reinforce the old ways next. For more political power, we can get more recruitable population, which is nice. Vault tanks, that's okay. That's good to do. Vault tech, eh, power armor. I might use it. I might not. We'll see what happens. Vehicles would be very good to do as well, but I'm going to get... Reinforce the old way. So, Vault City has survived this long by sticking to rules and regulations. So, social change is a fool's errand in this new world. We must reinforce our existing systems and crack down on those seeking to change it. Absolutely. Oh, and Mojave Chapter joined, joined the Brotherhood of Steel, which makes sense. Cool. Look at that. 20%. Just let's zoom through this. Let's build some more planes. Let's build some more robots. And have a good time with each other. 36%. Nice. And I do want as much political power so I can core this area as well as fast as possible because some places they're not really worth coring oh wait i can can i core it now do i uh claim multi multiplier ah the claim multiplier i might actually help you know why can i core this can i i can't core this oh i don't have enough can i core carson city immediately that'd be awesome hold on let's see if we can and we're almost there Oh, no, we cannot. We have to have neighboring states. Oh, you, the only reason why we can do that is just because they're connected right up here. I didn't see that. 10,000, 10,000. 
Oh, oh man. Hold on. Before we do that, we want to look at, because this is it's a minor detail, but I remember seeing this. Because each state's resistance level is affected just a little bit by each neighboring state's resistance levels as well. Outside battalions doesn't help us. It does, but hurts us as well. State victory points, resistance growth, with and pacification. Uh, yeah, it might not affect this. I don't know. Uh, base value, wasteland pacification. Maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. But I'm going to co go ahead and core Fallon. Nice. And, does, uh, okay, you don't need 100% compliance. Thumbs up. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Why is that, though? Let's see. Claim multiplier. Coring cost cap. We've got crop rotations, which is nice. Save population, core population. Coring efficiency factor, 0%. Hmm. If that's the case, I might not do wasteland pacification then. I might do something else. Let's see what happens though. Let's get some output because that's extremely important for us. So since we still need a ton of robots, and it looks like we can see esports divisions probably about ten combat width for infantry. The motorizers probably ten combat width, maybe twenty combat width motorized divisions. And actually, do we have any planes? Just little tri oh, triplane attackers. Yes, please. All right, twin mothers. I could spend political power to, you know, raise conscription, but I, I like coring stuff. Oh, we might be able to core Carson City instead. That costs quite a bit more. You might as well do this first. Reduces the number of garrisons that we need, which is really good. And we get about 1.19 a day. Actually, we're done with that. And this campaign, I want to at least get through all of these vaults. That, I think, is a good goal for us. Militia training. Awesome. Build laser weapons. Um, scout kits. We're not going to need those things. Where we're going. 149 days. Let's grab some standardized tools for more production efficiency cap. That'll be good. 7% is not bad at all. And we need 157 political power, which is fine and good with me. 10,000. That's actually that's, that's really not that bad at all. So after Eastport, I'm thinking the Shoshone Nation. Just because I don't want to go to the war with Kimolt Station. Uh, better doggos. It gets you more suppression, which is always a good thing. Kimolt Station, they do get, they can get attacked by the Troll Warren. And I don't want to deal with the Troll Warren until I'm good and ready. So R&D departments. If Vault Cities become a model for what the new world shall be, we must first create that new world. For too long, we have rested on the technology of old. Now, though, we must push forward and innovate. For the future of mankind, we get even more research speed. It's only 2% like milk, but a little bit more research speed. Oh, look at that. More political power. Great. Great. Uh, you know what? If we're this close... Coring cap costs 300 political power, which is nice. See, exactly why. Bone Dancers, that means the Troll Warren will eventually fight the Bone Dancers. And, you know, we're not ready yet. Once I get combat robots, which I'll address actually a little bit more on, just because I need to talk about them, we'll do that. But these guys can kill each other off. That's fine with me. You know what? Core Carson City. Just go ahead and core it. That'd be great. And then we have this left. And actually, let's double check this. Look at that. Manpower is going up just a tiny bit. Now, we're only at 4% conscription level for, you know, our guys, which isn't bad. But, you know what? 18% is going down. Look at that. Wasteland pacification. <clears throat> NCR. That seems a little early. To be honest, that seems quite a bit early. Look at that. It's going down because we have so much compliance. That's so good. I love it so much. All right. So, let's take a quick look. We're still out of a lot of robots. We have a couple planes here. I want to see how well we can do. I want to say we can do okay. But I might be lying up. Through ignorance. I don't know. Do they attack me? No. Can I attack them? Probably. But let's see how we do first. Can we do well here? They have two divisions. They're dug in pretty darn well. Uh, another comment was, how about you throw on some guys that can throw some dynamite pieces? That's a good idea. And in time, I might do that. But unfortunately, since the update to Old World Blues... Dynamite isn't nearly as strong. Oh, yes. We got heavy heavy lifter robots. Thank God. Yes, 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 yes. Reliability. Protectron marks too. Police protectrons. Thank goodness. That's some good stuff. Heavy lifters. Oh, look at that. Yes. Base oh, we only need some basic stuff here too. Um, you know what? Go and start making it just a few of those. 
We're gonna need a lot of military factories now, and some saws eventually. Yeah, do it like that, that's okay. You know, if we're coring this place so fast, I might not even puppet these guys. I seriously might not. So losses thus far was 0 versus 56, not bad. Not bad. The flesh is weak. Oh, let me tell you, the flesh is definitely weak. But we gotta do some refined construction for more hardness and armor for our entire army. And metalworking as well for more construction speed and factory repair speed. Next up, uh, that, that can wait. That's okay. Engineering stuff, that can wait a little bit more. Monoplane attackers can wait just a tad bit more. What else do we want? Stuff here. Robotics is really good to do. We might as well do more robotics. Dynamite, yeah, I could use dynamite. I could use maintenance companies too. Gun trucks. I want APCs. That's some good stuff. You know what? I'm I'm probably going to straight up annex Eastport because I can deal with a little bit of resistance with uh, trying to court Tobin Stronghold, which is looking awesome. Just looking. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Pacify those sons of guns. Cool. Now I want you three to attack here. I want. You two to support the attack. You're also going to support the attack as well. Nicholas is doing a great job, and they can't pierce us. Their motorized division is a little tough. I'm not going to lie, it is a little tough. But we'll keep building more stuff up, and that'll be great. And eventually we'll get a... Uh... Oh, look at that, 70%. Jesus, that's awesome. An intelligence agency, but that's for a little long later. Oh, you know what? Go that way. Go ahead and stop these guys from moving. And circle comments, please. Ah, song from the front. Great. Make sure everyone listens. Uh, I love political power, but we definitely need more war support right now, which I think is a little bit more important. Very good, my friends. You know what? If you want to do something, just go help support the attack here. Take out two of their divisions. R&D departments, very good. Next up, we shall do population controls. I love population control. Vault City is always growing, and there are endless streams of people wishing to join our utopia. By losing intellectual requirements, or loosening, loosening inte intellectual requirements, but increasing moral and mental screenings, we might better assess who is worthy of being becoming a citizen. 80s clear one grabber territory. Oh, we're going to have a big border with these guys. I don't like that. I don't like these guys. They're evil. They're mean. Uh, you know what? Help support the attack here, too. Ah, Nicholas, you have an upgrade for us. You became a desert fox. Very good, very good for you. You're a bruiser, so you get more attack, which is nice. Awesome. Oh, they started attacking me. Good. Not much else to say about that, but good. Yeah, saving up that political power so I can core Tobin. Public projects, awesome. Engineering, more research speed, because I am a slut for research speed sometimes. Hmm. Oh, there goes Grabber. Oh, they split it up. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I have to get intervene in here. This is Vault City collusion here. I mean, I this doesn't make too much sense, but at, at least look a little bit nicer. There you go. I'm sorry. I had to do it like that. That's that's definitely nicer. Yeah, I don't think the 80 should have gotten that much territory, but, you know, whatever. They're going to kill each other off anyways. No one cares about them anyways. Uh, just saying. There you go. Cool. You guys do that. Take off you guys. Help attack. Because why not? You guys help attack. I know I could do support attacks for that, but I don't care. There you go. And there you go. I need to do something around here. We're going to push up through here, perhaps. Oh, training programs. Very good. Train dogs. That'd be lovely. We're doing that already. Let's go ahead and grab some more. Oh, yes. More breakthrough, please. Please. So I've lost how many guys? Probably 10, maybe? Maybe 10 guys? Three guys. Versus 400 some. Go straight up immediately. Take after you guys. Go straight up as well. Okay, they leave a hole in their line. So be it. Oh, come on. Ah, you know what? Come on, man. I see what you're trying to do. I see what games you're playing here. You're gonna just go right that, that way. You know what? You can just help out and go up that way too. They want to abandon the line? That's fine with me. Oh, they seriously are abandoning the line now. What the heck? Awesome. Move straight on up then. Can you guys? Huh. Very interesting seeing the AI do this. I don't think they do this that often. Take one guy, support the attack. Take another guy, support the attack. Good. Uh... No, 
Nice, good job, guys. Standardized tools. Mm, research efficiency gain. We're good on that for now. Let's get more backyard workshops. I want a lot of output. Just tons of output. Camel Station was annexed. Hello, Bone Dancers. Welcome. And ste Oh, the Steel Rangers have joined. That's probably going to spell the end of the NCR then. Ooh, which is... Uh, oh, well, actually, they're still fighting. Huh. That's a that's a big that's not a huge border, but uh, the capture of Lost House Bunker. They're doing well against the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know. The Desert Rangers might the Steel Rangers might be able to pull out a sneaky because the Hobby Chapter is doing pretty well over there too. I want to say the NCR is not going to win here. You know what? Just go right on ahead, guys. You will probably do okay. We're going to lose probably. I don't know. I lost a lot of guys yesterday. 261 ish yesterday. That's a lot for me. Uh, flexible planning speed, max planning, cult of personality, smooth talker. Recovery rate sounds pretty good. Uh, junk rounds. I might get more defense because our robots are are already hit because they already have minus 10% so if I can do more defense that would probably be pretty good for us recovery rate I really like that but let's just get more defense it's for everyone defense for all robots and an occasional infantry division just cut those guys off yeah I'm going to straight up axe these guys uh, I love dick shooter Dix Hooter. Dix Hooter. Yeah, that's a, that's a uh, correct pronunciation. Dix Hooter. Very good, very good, very good. Very good. Can I just kind of walk in? Have a good time? These guys should start. Population control is very good. Now we can do subsidize the military economy. Two workshops and faster military construction speed. Or we do subsidize the civilian economy. For four civilian workshops and more civilian construction speed, which I think is better, just because I can use civilian factories more, even though I could use more military factories, but whatever. A wealthy city is a content city. And what better way to make a city wealthy than to encourage mercantile trade? Yes, absolutely. As you can tell, I love building stuff up. I love, love, love it. Guerra's Conviction. We don't bother with Mexico. Bunch of weird places down there. Nicholas, you got another upgrade. Oh, you're a hill spider as well. You're almost level five. Good. Losses 16 versus 800. Awesome. We might as well come up that way. Infantry. I don't want to use infantry for that. Really don't want to. As soon as they leave, I'm going to go ahead and just throw myself in there. Or just go right ahead. Have a good time with these guys. Get a little bit more army XP because we're going to need that to upgrade our divisions. Oh, what the? What the? What you doing, son? Very nice. Very nice. How much political power? 175. That's quite a bit. Oh, yes. At least Protectrons. That's so good. We're going to grab Impact Resistant Chassis. Oh, for a little bit more reliability. That's awesome. Let you guys come on down south. And I will get these new Police Protectrons once we are good and ready. We're not ready quite yet. I want to make sure production is still okay before this war is over. Because we still have a deficit. 143. We only have 12 combat robots, which is... Eh. Oh, there goes old countries. And they are done. I'm just going to take all states. I was thinking about puppeting them, but you know what? We're so close. I need 50 more political power, so then we can just pacify this area, too. Next up, Shoshone Nation. What are you guys... Why are you guys all the way over there for? You know what? I'm just going to manually control you for now. Why is the airfield's airbase so large now? Um, The fall of Shidi Sansi. Yep, the NCR is wounded. They might die. So, here's a plan. Not going to upgrade these guys yet. I'm going to wait until we get out of our deficit of, or closer to our deficit of, protectrons. I want to finish that up first. Vehicles, tanks, salvage cars, it doesn't really matter, let's do that one. Mm. Police protectrons, I know, scrap gun trucks, I want that too. Oh, there's so much I want. Alright. No more resistance down here, good. Just a tiny bit more political uh, manpower too. These enemy divisions are probably five combat width. Ah, oh, there they go. War with Redbolt City. The 80s are becoming quite big, and we're going to have to contain them. Definitely have to contain them. 84, awesome. Go ahead and repair everything down here if we can for now. Resistance-wise, 18%. That, our compliance is growing faster than enemy resistance. Look at that, 18. 13 is kind of high. 38 and I-80. Nice, that's good. That's real good. Also, I have some coffee here. I need to start drinking some of this stuff. Alright, you know what? If that tells me that we have another robot here, I can go ahead and switch the production line. 
There you go. Nice. And I'm not going to throw on any of these yet, just because it takes so much to build those. I want at least 50 triplane attackers, that would be good. And we can subsidize the civilian economy and do Pact of Steel. I'm not really interested in joining the Brotherhood Steel. I'd rather have my own, uh, you know, nation. Well, Nevada Pact, maybe, but... I guess we can't create our own faction, which kind of sucks. Manpower, we're doing okay. Um, purify the flock for even more. Two more civilian factories. Go to war with New Reno eventually. Two more arms workshops. I think I could use more military factories right now, so let's develop or developing Old Fort. The conquered Cyclops tribe operated out of a large Spanish mission, and it appears that not far from them. One can find a series of pre-war mines in relatively good condition. Reopening them will be key in our operations going into the future. More scrap metal, two civilian, two military factories, build more heavy lifter robots. That is my jam. Now, I probably will have to puppet Shishou Nation, just because it's going to cost me even more political power to take over these guys and core them. Which isn't ideal. Whatever. Even though resistance is going down. And once the resistance gets low enough and compliance is high enough, I can switch from wasteland pacification to something else. Which will be good. This, I've ignored this. Give me more monthly population and a civilian workshop as well, which will be very, very good. Oh, yeah. Keep repairing that stuff. That's good. That's good. Not enough factories for me. Once we start on a third line, I will then begin making more military factories. Because right now, just conquest is the way I get military factories and stuff like that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Simple circuitry. Good. And refine construction. Uh, might as well do that. Let's continue with our land doctrine. We shall do combat simulations. So our army gets more soft attack, more hard attack, less cell usage, will plan attack, more planning speed, and max planning with combat simulations. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And how long do we have to wait until we go to war with these fellas? Only 15 more days. That's not too bad. That's pretty good, actually. Let's see. Deficit. Looking pretty good for our robots. Looking pretty darn awesome. I really want, though, combat robots. Really need that. Oh! You bunch of bastards! What did you do that for? What? What? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Troll Warren, please go to war with these guys. Can Cannibal mutants. Uh, I don't... I don't have any intelligence on these guys. Oh, that's such BS. That is such BS. You know what? They might not fall fast enough. If we can do this, we can probably take a little bit of territory from the Bone Dancers, giving them a justification on us. We're going to need a little bit more manpower. I'm going to definitely raise my conscription up. But, uh... That might give them a, a war goal against us so that they go to war with us us so that we can take them out that sounds like one convoluted plan that will work hmm doggos pure bread mutts yes we got plenty of dogs i just have a single civilian factory on these guys military factory i mean backyard workshops glorious refined tools yes more cap more growth grow we are we grow a lot yeah, definitely have to raise this. Disarm nation or settlement protection to wasteland militias? Yes, yes, yes. It's only 2% more population. We lose our, a little bit more stability. Lose a tiny bit more construction. Get a little bit more mobilization speed or less... Mo oh, we do get more mobilization speed. New Vegas clear war on the fiends. And we're developing the old fort. I love it. 44% compliance. That's so good. I can already core this stuff, but I just don't have the political power. Political power now seems to be the thing that you really, really need. Purify the flock. Uh, I can wait, probably. I'd rather do this one. Renovate downtown. So downtown is the heart of our economy proper and houses the vast majority of our skilled labor and services. Renovation for it is near constant with much of our yearly budget going to expansion and subsidies. If I can only get a little bit of this nation, just like a single tile, that is still worth it, in my opinion. Because we might be able to attack the Bone Dancers from two sides, including the Troll Worm side. Oh, the NCR. I knew this would happen to the NCR. That's disgusting. But that's okay. Look at that manpower. I need more. More. More power. Reliability. Good. Mr. Gutsies. I'll research all these eventually. Um, That's two years ahead of time. That's probably a little bit too ahead of time for me. Monoplane attackers. It is then. How many planes do we have right now? Would we have a small thing of that. White legs. Cool. Please do not ally with each other. Because if, if these guys ally with each other, it's going to be a big problem for us. Alright. So how much longer? Seriously. How much longer? I. Wait. Oh, wait, the thing was cancelled because... Oh, no, 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 no. They're gonna die before we can even go to war with them. God dang it, you piece of garbage. <sighs> Antelope tribes, it is them. I gotta do somebody. Which means... Mm, 
that canceled it because I think they took the dick shooter. Yeah, we were justifying on dick scooter, which they took, which made it so that we couldn't justify on them because they no longer owned it. That's a bunch of garbage. The NCR is gone. Oh, you... Oh, that was not very cool of you, man. That wasn't very cool. I'm going to go ahead and train these guys up because we might as well. And what are we doing here? Demand demilitarization. I don't care about demilitarizing. What are you talking about? You have no power in these realms. Absolutely not. Aerial warfare. Plain stuff. Plain stuff. Engineering. Yeah, radar stations. But, unfortunately, I will have to end today's episode right there. What did we do? We took out Esport. We had a great time with Esport. We are currently justifying on the Antelope Tribes because we were cucked from the Bone Dancers, which will die soon enough. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we take out those who subscribe to the Antelope Tribe. And maybe we'll end up in a war against the Bone Dancers. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.